and new today. Hurricane Adalia is causing shutdowns all across the low country, including our airport. Nick Reagan following the latest force from the first alert desk. Nick, the airport technically staying open, but many of the flights are changing. Tell us about that. Yeah, Roth Air Traffic Control Tower in Charleston at the Charleston International Airport is now set to close tonight at 6 p.m. Just as that storm is really expected to pick up significantly here in our area. Now the tower will reopen at 8 a.m. Airport officials say that airline carriers, they've been notified and are adjusting their flights. All departures and takeoffs are expected to uh, happen before the tower shuts down again at 6. However, the runways and the airport itself will not close and will remain open throughout the storm. If a plane does need to land or take off, pilots will have to connect to an air traffic control tower in Jacksonville, Florida. Now, right now, there are more than 1,700 delays and 900 plus canceled flights across the United States. According to Flight Aware, they're also reporting 30 three canceled flights into Charleston and another 17 out of Charleston. That's the latest here from our first alert desk. Roth, back to you. Thank you very much, Nick. And um, again, Adalia made landfall in Florida as a powerful storm a little before eight this afternoon or this morning. And there are several closures and cancellations, and that includes the International African American Museum that you are seeing here on your screen, as well as as well as a few other places as well. We're working to get to those. The International African American Museum is closed for today and tomorrow. And if you've had visits scheduled there, you're going to have to uh, reschedule them. They have already uh, refunded the money if you had a tour for today or tomorrow, but they will be postponed until further notice. Stay with us. We have more coming up after this.